Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, may the peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon you. Today we will continue our discussion regarding women in Islamic history. Today we will discuss the life of Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam and the many honorable traits she possessed that have made her what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had intended for her to be known by and that is one of the greatest female role models to have ever been created. Born in one of the holiest households to have ever been created, Sayyidah Zainab السلام, received enough of the knowledge and powerful traits so that she was able to follow in her mother and grandmother's holy footsteps into becoming one of the world's most powerful female figures. Being the daughter of the commander of the faithful, Imam Ali السلام, and Fatima al-Zahra السلام, Sayyidah Zainab السلام, was known as an exemplary woman of great ability, intelligence, knowledge, insight, courage, and preservers. And she used to have these holy traits to perform her divine duties to the best of her ability. If one were to closely look at the individuals who were present within the life of Sayyidah Zainab السلام, one would clearly notice that out of the five holy members shone a brilliant star and it was through the traits in which she possessed Sayyidah Zainab السلام, was able to manifest such great a fortitude in Karbala. Out of all of the remarkable holy female role models, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created and set out for us to learn from, Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam is recognized, is, is recognized the most, okay. Sayyidah Zainab is recognized the most for her great courage and never ending patience in which she portrayed throughout her holy life. In order for one to truly understand what Sayyidah Zainab portrayed within her individuality, one must be familiar with whom she had inherited these characteristics from. Her mother, Sayyidah Fatima السلام, was the greatest role model for the world in its entirety as she was infallible in her mind and spoke only the truth as well as infallible in her heart which had no place except for good and infallible in her life which was driven by the spiritual values that neared her to Allah. As for the traits of patience and courage we witness in Sayyidah Zainab السلام, this is seen in her mother السلام, as she revealed her knowledge and courage after delivering her famous and holy speeches in the Prophet's mosque defending the religion of Islam and what was rightfully hers. Following in her mother's footsteps, Sayyidah Zainab السلام, revealed her patience and courage as her life had always been laden with hardships and devastating losses. When Sayyidah Zainab was first born, Jibra'il descended and told the Prophet peace be upon him, O Messenger of Allah, from early on in life, this girl will remain entangled in tribulations and trials in this world. First, she will face your separation from this world. Thereafter, she will bemoan the loss of her mother, then her father, and then her brother Hassan. After all this, she will be confronted with the trials of the land of Karbala and the tribulations of that lonely desert, as a result of which her hair will turn gray and her back will be bent. These powerful and devastating words were not new news to the Ahlul Bayt السلام, as they were all aware of the hardship Sayyidah Zainab السلام, was meant to face. However, it is very clear that the courage, patience, and perseverance that Sayyidah Zainab portrayed on the day of Ashura and after as she went along patiently spreading the true Husseini message is one of the greatest and most remarkable stands to have ever taken place in history. On the holy day of Ashura, the amount of devastation that Ahlul Bayt السلام, faced cannot be put into words. The brutality of what Sayyidah Zainab السلام, had to witness before her eyes in terms of having everyone she loved be martyred in the most inhumane ways before her eyes is one of the most heartbreaking events to ever take place. After Imam Hussein, his family members and companions were killed. Sayyidah Zainab السلام, was left to protect and fight for the children. The woman and Imam Sajjad السلام, was very ill at the time. Yazid's army burned the tents of Imam Hussein's family and stole all of their belongings, leaving the women and children in fear and terrorized before taking them as captives to Kufa and then Damascus. 
This is when Sayyidah Zainab salam's role came into place as she took on the mission of reviving the Husseini revolution after the enemies attempted to silence it and heroically defended the household's rights and did not permit the enemies to take advantage of what took place on the plains of Karbala. When Sayyidah Zainab salam, the woman and the children arrived in Kufa, they saw that the people were rejoicing and celebrating the shameful acts of Yazid as they were brainwashed to think that Imam Hussein was one of the ones who was wrong. This is when Sayyidah Zainab salam, delivered her unforgettable speech which shook the city in its entirety. The sermon, was the sermon she delivered was so powerful it converted the glorious show of victory into a mournful ceremony where the evils of the governor Ibn Yazid were revealed. Where the evils of the governor Ibn Ziyad were revealed. The sermon caused for the delighted happy faces to sadden and many even began to cry. As a matter of fact, her elegant speech even boosted people's anger toward the governor. In her sermon, she courageously stated, even though there was a risk on her holy life, praise to Allah and may the blessing of Allah be upon Muhammad and his progeny. O people of Kufa, you are hypocrites and deceitful. You feign to be sorry for the death of my brother and his companions. May you always shed tears. I find nothing in you but flattery, evil acts and thoughts, pride and in spite and will, ill will. I find nothing in you but flattery, evil acts and thoughts, pride and spite and ill will. By Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you, deser ta you deserve lasting sorrow instead of joy. Shame's on you. Your hands are imbrued with the blood of the son of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The one who was your sole refuge in the case of adversity. This powerful saying enlightened the minds of many living in Kufa, causing them to go against the enemies and avenge for the martyrdom of Imam Hussein and his household, which was something Yazid feared. Sayyidah Zainab salam revealed her courage as she stood like a mountain before Bin Ziyad in Kufa, already knowing that she could be killed, and delivered yet another notable sermon. After hearing Bin Ziyad's threats and killing her, she stated bravely, I fear no one but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make whatever evil plot you can. Blazes are waiting for you in the hereafter. You'll be accountable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for your atrocities. This was not only a way to reveal the inequality and inhumanity of Yazid at the time, but it was also a series of lessons for the world in its entirety to learn that standing for what is right comes with sacrifices. It is a way for us to realize what had been given up for the sake of the true religion of Islam and shows us that no matter what we decide to sacrifice comes nothing compared to what the Ahlul Bayt salam, endured. Sayyidah Zainab stance continues as she and the holy family of the Imam Hussein are taken captive to Damascus to the place of Yazid. Once again, Sayyidah Zainab salam, delivered another sermon, once again revealing the oppression the Ahlul Bayt salam, were put through. This beautiful and eloquent sermon teaches us what it truly means to love and sacrifice for the religion of Islam. This is seen when Sayyidah Zainab says, What I saw was beautiful. It was martyrdom. Although it was difficult, it was in the way of God and it was done for preserving Islam. It was the creation of an epic in the history so that the Islamic Ummah knows what it should do and how it should move forward and stand firm. The brave and courageous stands of Sayyidah Zainab are many and one cannot possibly put the effect they had on history. Although Sayyidah Zainab salam, is known for the courage and perseverance, one also learns many other beautiful things from this holy figure. In narrating all of her mother's and father's traits, Sayyidah Zainab salam, portrays the ultimate role model for a woman to follow. She was known to be the caring and loyal wife and mother and raised her children the same way she was raised and the results of the holy upbringing is clearly seen as her four sons were martyred with Imam Hussain on the day of Ashura. The short analysis of the character of Sayyidah Zainab are not only very little but extremely humble compared to what she deserves. Being a member of the holiest family to have ever been created, Sayyidah Zainab is not only a role model to women, but to the world in its entirety. Though her stands, knowledge, eloquence, patience, and perseverance, Sayyidah Zainab reveals that being a woman does not limit what one can do. Through her holy life, Sayyidah Zainab made it clear that defending the religion of Islam and revealing the truth is something that comes with great sacrifices and is one of the greatest things one can do. Thank you for tuning in and we hope to see you next time. Hmm.